Welcome back, folks. So, Foodie did a live a couple of days ago, followed by a bit of a ragey community post, which I'll show, and also a video today where she tells us she's lost a load of weight and that her healthy arc's continuing. Let's get into it, shall we? That's the point of this, is to show everybody I'm alive and well. And I will never... Did anybody really think she'd passed? I don't think so. Never be defeated. My... Look at that. Never be defeated. Only a couple of days ago, she was telling us she was at death's door. Miraculous recovery, eh? Not by diabetes. Not by high blood pressure. Not by no camels. How repulsive is that, the way she's saying this? Is it just me? And especially not by um, chicken matches, so yeah. Wow. Remember, I'm showing selected clips only, not subjecting you to the whole thing. In the future, we'll be playing any more video games. I do see that in the future, S. Oh. I do see it. She wasn't that great when she tried it before, but okay. My attitude is 100? Thank you. I was really bitchy before pressing live. No shit. Not like we could tell with that introduction. Tian Moonshine, swear to God. Tian Moonshine. Wow. Chat mentioned about the taste she said that she had in her mouth when she was ill. Okay. No, it wasn't like fruity. It was more like a. The taste in my mouth was more just metallic and gross. Well, Blue Pot, I mean, if I had DKA, I wouldn't be here looking snatched, would I? No, I wouldn't. Snatched? Actually, I don't look snatched. What's with my skin? It's blotchy. How come the filters don't work on the live stream? Let's try filters. this. Filters. She then messes about with filters for a bit. There we go. <laughs> look at this one. Uh, again, like I said, miraculous recovery, eh? Okay, like I usually have a rule, I usually have a rule, no big lights, but because I don't have a- there's another rule. I, I don't know how I'm gonna ever be social media multi-star, superstar, because... Is that your plan? Is that your aim? Social media superstar? I don't like ring lights. I don't like- can you imagine- you know how stars get like- they get exposed when they go on the red carpet? Okay. <clears throat> she comparing herself to a celebrity now. And then, like, they get unfiltered and everyone sees all of it. I would be full of sweat, CPAP marks, no, uh ain't gonna happen. Okay, so. I... Wow. I've got to stop saying wow. I know. I'm saying it far too much, sorry. She's still insisting she didn't get sick from the camels. Do you know how many camels I've kissed and I never got sick? Dread to think, to be honest. And who are you to call those camels mangy? Mangy. Show me a hot camel, all right? Show me a, a I mean, show me a pretty majestic looking camel. Those camels are well taken care of. Hmm. She proceeds to take some medicine for her kidneys on camera. Did she really have to take it this soon into her live stream? Couldn't she have postponed her live stream by a few minutes to take a medicine first? No. As with everything with Chantal, has to be done on camera for a full effect. She talks about her recording setup. Second bedroom is still, it's in the works. I don't know what I want to do with it, I have to think. And I just keep getting hit with one stupid health issue after another stupid health issue. Stupid health issues, eh? Perhaps if you'd taken proper care previously. You wouldn't be hit with all these issues now, eh? She says something along the lines of, you know, she had so many things happening at once. She got ill. She's basically fed up with people speculating about what was wrong with her. But she says her cough is mostly better. As we notice, there's no... <clears throat> like there was the other day. I like 
I'm starting to not be as optimistic that my body can recover from a lot of damage that's already done now. Like, I know that sounds bleak. No, it's being realistic. So you're finally realizing? But I'm like, I'm 40. Like, in this day and age, that's like... It's such a weird day and age because at the same time you have people who are living to, you know, the life expectancy. I mean, if you look at like the, the Tudor area, people were dying. It wasn't uncommon to die at 40. Now it's like we have the life expectancy. We have the ability if we, we are able to take care of ourselves properly. That's the key bit. If you take care of yourself properly. To live to be like 90. But on the other hand, we're also such an unhealthy society where it's like, it's not uncommon to die at 40 anymore again. You know what I mean? So it's like a weird juxtaposition. Hmm. Not sure I quite agree with that. And she gets a little frustrated with poor Julia. The cat is spazzing out. She's, she has her fish toy. Hey! <laughs> she's a paper. I don't know why I go live when she's paper. You're peeing. Why are you peeing? Could it possibly be that she's in season again? I mean, we're fed up with saying it really by now, aren't we? Will the McLean's return? No. Like, that's the thing. Like, I was earlier, I was like, I don't think my cravings will return. They haven't returned fully, but I'm slowly, like, the head hunger is still there for sure. I bet it is. Like, I know the addiction is still there. You know, it's, um, when I'm, like, just depressed or you know it's just like it's always been like a like a comfort so like it's weird that it's not there she said it's kind of still there when she gets it when she's depressed but we're talking over a period of a few days so is she saying she's been depressed again like i don't know it's like i don't know how to explain it it's like i can feel the absence it's like food is just always there usually in my life and now yeah. it's just there to feed my body and that's it so high energy it's like a constant so i'm like dealing with all these illnesses and then i'm dealing with they're trying to like keep and check this one where it's like um you know trying to tell myself like try to really think am i actually really hungry right now no like right now i'm not hungry at all you know i had some lentil soup i had some chicken i'm good i, I had some fruit i'm not hungry so but like my mind is like like if i saw like a piece of red velvet cake in front of me like would i want that yeah my brain would want that you know so i have to like just check myself like all the time so yeah that's what most of us have to do Otherwise, we'd all be the size of a house, wouldn't we? 40 years old, and she's behaving like a, the mentality of a child, a kid. I just hope it gets easier, you know? I don't think it's going to get easier. I think it's going to get harder before it gets easier. Yeah, why is she freaking out? Hey! Well, that wasn't very nice, was it? Getting angry with a cat? Stop scratching the carpet. She has zoomies. That's why. <laughs> She's scratching the carpet? What? Yeah, that's what cats do. Especially when they're bored. Possibly in season. Has she even got a cat tree? I don't think we've ever seen a cat tree. For her. Also notice how her attitude changed a bit when we heard Salah there. She kind of calmed down a bit. Didn't want him to see her getting on like that, hmm? Although you'd think he'd be used to it by now, supposedly living with her for the last 18 months. She then tells us she's lost weight. Well, I like I weighed myself and I was 152 kg, 152.5 kg. And that's down from like 155 point something. So, and that's after I've started eating again. So at least I'm like down some weight because I've just been eating like natural food and, you know, only not eating as much. But, um, so yeah, anyway. Really? It doesn't look to me like she's lost anything, but maybe she has. Then Salah has to make an appearance, holding Julia in shot, and then he brings out Howie. And look at this, she kisses him. This is a woman who keeps getting repeated infections and she's kissing a hamster. Her chat comments about Charlie Gold's recent weight loss. I don't know why people use like weight loss as like a competition. Like it's 
it's not that if you're doing it for that reason to like try to one up somebody it's it's for the, all the wrong reasons like it's just weird i don't know <clears throat> and we'll see in a little bit the community post that she put up which was, still wasn't happy about this Salar goes out and he makes sure he's heard saying he's going to his second apartment and she giggles his poor attempt at a joke she says she's been watching a lot of horror movies and then somebody in chat says this we don't own a store i mean like there's a store like right outside our building she's I talking about where Sala went i was sick for two days and it was hard to keep food down i know the camel spit the camel no that's worse that w <laughs> that's gross that girl probably had like gone with the throat look what did i go to like you had Chantal with your ex and so uh, Salah comes back with some water for her. Sorry, I meant a watermelon. And proceeds to put it full on in front of the camera. Paper. Sweaty. No change here then. I'm not traveling anywhere this summer, I swear. Unless it's Antarctica, you can forget it. Oh, really? Japan trips off then? Salah brings out Harry yet again, gets himself on camera, and Julia's around. Well, I mean, apparently they, I mean, I don't know, they have gotten in contact. Out of the apparently, I mean, I don't know, they have gotten in contact. She means Julia and Harry. Why apparently did it happen when you weren't there? Very strange thing to say. Age, and they didn't do anything, but... Howie scratched her once a little bit on the head. <laughs> Howard Keena Bear, thank Well, that's not really something to laugh about. Then off camera, Salah again tries to get himself on screen. Well, he does get himself on screen eventually. Holding both Julia and Howie together. Chantel tries to tell him not to. Babe. Babe. No, no, no. See? Even she knows Look it's a bad this, idea. I'm stopping it because I don't want to see him in it. But he ends up with both together. It made me really nervous watching this. Ugh. Just think what could happen. He calls it Howie versus Julia. And she just giggles throughout. You're being charged with animal cruelty. <laughs> Go and, shove it up and, your ass. And you're being charged for it. Lovely. Go shove it up your ass. From a supposed Muslim lady. I think, uh, stupid. Stupid troll. <laughs> I think being dumb should be uh, illegal sometimes. It depends. Can't disagree with you there, Chantal. So it's mostly chat about food again. He's eating a peach here, as you can see. Silly interactions with her and Salah and chat. I mean, Salah since he came back with the watermelon basically around the whole time during this live. They mess around with the filters again and then it ends. Really not much of note in this live, so just those few clips I've shown. And now we're going to move on to the video she uploaded today, just a few hours ago. Hi guys, Salam Alaikum, welcome back to another video. I do have a sped up by the way, she's not talking this maniacally really. So it is like 10 a.m. here. Oh, it's like 11. So it's 11 here. I just had a shower, put on some clean pajamas, and I'm going to do a bit of skincare while I talk about my weigh-in and a bit... Getting up at 11. ...about a little history about me, for those of you who don't know. So let's get into it. Yellow. Worth noting that Mr. Snowflake's part three of his uh, documentary series aired last night for um, everybody. It was released a day earlier for his members. I am going to cover that um, in a live as well. Mr. Snowflake has said to everybody, please go ahead, share it with your viewers, you know, play it, react to it. So we're going to do that. So her now saying she's going to give a bit of a backstory or history for new people is instead of her doing a rage video again, like she did previously to Mr. Snowflake's videos because she's still within the 90 days for that strike that she had. So she's being careful. I think she's now trying to switch the narrative, trying to get people on her side. Either, 
after they've seen Mr. Snowflake's part three or before they do see his part three. Just my opinion. So what first thing I use on my skin a lot is rose water. It's apparently it's really hydrating um, and refreshing. So I just kind of take a bit. It's kind of messy, but I just kind of put it all over my face because I love that like refreshing sense of, you know, refreshment on my face. <sighs> Especially now it's like 42 degrees outside Celsius. Yay. So um, that's why I put my pajamas right back on after I showered and, you know, and got ready a bit because I don't feel like going out there right now in that weather. Okay. I bet you don't. now in that weather okay so i'll first do the weigh-in which i'll put here um wow she's trying to say she's only 334 pounds now wow okay which is yeah you can see here i don't remember i won't remember it off the top of my head but um so I'm down like 15 kgs right now total because like the last time I weighed in at the doctors I was 166 and now I'm 151 something so that's actually the lowest I've been in a while you know and yes you know being sick kind of gave me a boost because I didn't eat for a few days but I'm sorry but I find it very hard to believe she doesn't look to me like she's lost weight at all and the face is usually one of the first places isn't it where weight loss shows I think I've been eating pretty normally um for a few days now so yeah so that is good i hope that i can you know maintain i, I feel like i've you know lost like the way some t-shirts fit me are baggy than baggier than before so you know i'm not obsessed with numbers on the scale but no i'll weigh myself like maybe next week or something we'll see i don't know maybe before that um oh that's refreshing okay and i'm gonna put my moisturizer so that's i don't think we want to see i put a moisturizer on do we she proceeds to put lip gloss on uh, goodness knows why she's not you know putting full makeup on but each to the room so you'll probably be pleased to hear i skipped most of the uh, skincare stuff but she's still doing it here when she talks about her speaking french so last time i did a live i talked uh, french there's a few times i've talked french like here and there and um people are like surprised like there's really you're from Canada. We know that French is the second language huh? First language in some areas, like parts of Quebec, I believe. Some new people, right? Like my channel's growing, mashallah, like slowly but surely. Is it? It's been on 101k for quite some time now, since you got your play button. And, uh... People are surprised that I can talk French. Okay. I went to a, my mother put me in a French Catholic school, so we only spoke French. We were taught French right from kindergarten. Mm -hmm. um, I even think pre-K was French. So I was put into from grade one to grade eight, like intensive French Catholic strict school where we only started learning English stuff like in grade four. And it was like a lesson a day. It was, you know, we would get in trouble if we were heard spe uh, speaking English in the hallways. So not only that, but my dad is French, pure French Canadian. Um, he showed me our family tree once and like if you go right back to like, you know, the 1600s, uh, 1700s, I think like just historically there's like people named Napoleon in our lineage. Okay, so I'm French. She's trying to make out now that she's related to, as we pronounce it here, Napoleon. Okay. She says she's rusty now in French, but that uh, somebody spoke to her in French, she would understand what they were saying. Um, she just recounts again about his schooling in French. Uh, we don't need to see all that here. I've just been eating. What have I been eating? What I have haven't you been, been eating? Yet. I'm not like I'm just just starting starting to feel normal. Excuse me. So. So. Yeah, it's going to take me a bit longer, maybe another you know few days to a week, to just reorganize everything in my life here and trust we organize everything in our life there what that i mean she's just been ill for a few days what, what is she going to reorganize get up and try again you know so i've just been eating a lot of uh fruit 
um, fruit which has a lot of natural sugars, she's diabetic, blah blah blah, here we go again. Like really juicy, hydrating, like things that are hydrating, you know, like a lot of salads, a lot of fatouche, a lot. Um, there's this trio of beans, I think it's um, Iranian style, the breakfast, where it's like um, large fava beans, um, chickpeas, just plain, like in like this water, and then this like other one that they make with like spinach, I don't know, it's so good. So she tells us here, just after my video, Salah brought breakfast and it was the exact food I was just talking about. So does that tell us she ended the video and then added a bit on the end when he brought back the food? And again, he's bringing in takeout for breakfast. I mean, I know apparently he was supposed to have been a bit old, but he looked fine in the live, didn't he? Well, you didn't see it actually, I didn't show him, but... Um, I mean, he looked a bit rough with his hair and he kind of shaved off a lot of his beard, but neither of them looked ill. Why can't they make a bit of breakfast at home instead of all this takeout? However, if it is healthy food, okay, I'll give kudos for that. Let's see. Actually, so I brought back the breakfast and these are the um, beans I was talking about. So this is just like, uh, they call it hummus, which is just, you know, think of hummus as a sauce, but it's actually just the chickpeas. Um, yeah. We nefi. Nefi? Yeah. Okay, and this one is food? No. Bajela. Bajela? Yeah. They're huge. They're huge like um, beans. And this is like my favorite. This is... Ash. Ash? It smells like there's, there's greens in there, um, onion. Super healthy. Yeah, a bunch of beans. I don't know. It's delicious. And this is jarish. Yeah. Made with chicken. So there's chicken and it's like some kind of like wheat grains that they use. I've never tried this yet. I'm going to try. Maybe I'll try now. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know about you, but that's a lot of food for breakfast no way could i eat that amount of food no matter what it was for breakfast we then kind of get a breakfast mukbang where she eats some of it on camera I'm not showing that <laughs> so i've been eating like a lot of like beans for like breakfast and stuff like that doesn't beans give you gas if i eat breakfast um otherwise i usually just have like one main meal where it's i think you're eating breakfast and um, what do you mean usually one main meal you've only been eating you know not been ill but to eat them for a few days i wouldn't say usually that soon like i'll have like a lot of salad a little bit of chicken and some rice I, i've been eating rice every single day still eating the rice not maybe like a quarter of what i would normally eat really you'll see maybe even less than that Think so. And that's been, I find it's been satisfying and filling. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we will. We'll see what happens when the the cravings come back. But I have like this like rage inside of me for like I dare it to come back. <laughs> She's daring the cravings to come back. It's uh, not good. You know, like I dare it to come back and ask me like ask me to eat pot pie. I swear. <laughs> Do it. Ask me. Craving, go on cravings, ask me to eat pot pie and see what happens to you. You're going to get the biggest F you know. <laughs> um, I, I'm not even, like the... F well, I hope so, for her sake. A lot of that doesn't even appeal to me right now, honestly, it doesn't. So, we'll see. I've just been craving more natural food. And I think I'm going to, when I do start cooking again, I'm going to be like planning what, what kind of things. Like I think really high volume, like vegetable, like just a huge stock pot of soup that I love. Because I've been eating lentil and vegetable soup every day. So I'll just... She is crazy about soup, isn't she? Throw a bunch of vegetables, lentils, and just blend it. I love it. Um, cheese sauce? I found a hack for cheese sauces. No, not the cheese. Again. Too much cheese, Chantal. Um, I'm going to just make, like, for one meal, just, like, a huge thing of broccoli. And, like, um, I don't know if you guys know, like, a long time back, I tried this recipe, and it was really good. It's the cheese sauce, and it's made with carrots, potato, and nutritional yeast. So it's literally fat-free. So, And nutritional yeast is, like, super. Still got cheese in it though. Super chock full of vitamins, it's crazy. And it's so good, like I couldn't tell that it wasn't cheese sauce. It's creamy enough. There's ways of like making like substitutes, like you know how I love like creamy Alfredo sauce kinda? You could make like an Alfredo sauce with like cauliflower. You blend cauliflower. 
Oh, did I? I'm not going back to C, but did I misunderstand? Was it a cheese substitute? Okay, then. Um, you add like silken tofu. Like there's different like alternatives that taste amazing still and are super healthy. So I've just been like watching a lot of those videos of like people who have lost a lot of weight eating volume foods that are like very low calorie, but are very healthy, like mostly vegetables. So I'm trying to stay away from things that are really, you know, really high fat, saturated fat, like creams and butters and stuff like that. So that never does me any favors. Trying to stay away from, she didn't say she has stayed away from, but okay, it's a start, I guess. I'm not gonna piss on it just yet. Let's see how she goes. Um, so yeah, and yes, of course, no, like white pasta, like processed, like breads, nothing processed, essentially, like I'm not going to eat anything from a package, so. You hear that? She's not going to eat anything from a package. We'll see. Yeah, even like, if I go to a movie, because there's a movie I really want to see, I'm not going to get, like the thought of drinking Diet Pepsi grosses me right out. It's like, just, why drink just a, a bunch of chemicals? What's the point? Right up until you got ill, you drank a bunch of chemicals, as you call it, all the time, almost constantly. You did drink water as well, but what's uh, brought about this sudden realisation again? I mean, we've heard this all before. And the popcorn? No. I don't even like popcorn and I'm not eating the nachos. There's no way. Who knows what's in that orange dye? Like, no. So, um, yeah. I could maybe try to make my own like nacho cheese like with that sauce <laughs> i don't know but i'll probably just bring some pistachios or something who knows anyways i guess that's it um yeah the fruits i've been eating a lot of plums i love plums peaches some watermelon um stuff like that and uh, yeah that's it that's my way in and that's my update that's my little history so i will see you guys next video okay hope we have a good day bye bye now as promised here's the community post that she put up unedited so we'll start with the non-edited bit first she's saying but like why are people making another creators weight loss about me listen boo boo if you're going your hardest to lose weight to stick it to someone else you're doing it for all the wrong reasons you should be in competition with yourself not others on their own journeys can you say toxic AF? If you're seriously looking for validation from me when this has nothing to do with me, lol, here's a medal, I guess. It's so beyond weird and gross to compare one's journey to someone else's and even more effed up to rub weight loss in someone's face or use it as a means of self-validation. I want to be happy for these people, but I honestly just feel sad for you. You may have lost weight, but you still clearly hate yourself. She then later added the edit that says, For those saying it's not being made about me, then why am I being discussed at all in someone's weight loss video? LMAO. So tacky and weird. Cutting anyone down trying to lose weight to boost yourself is a biatch move. Period. So there's a lot of talk that, although she doesn't mention who she's referring to here, Charlie Gold recently came back. It's not somebody I follow. To be honest or have ever seen but apparently she's come back to youtube uh with a huge weight loss and a lot of people in the goal world community think that that's who this post was aimed at we shall see this is the closest she's daring bring herself right now to a rage post given that she still has that strike she's still within the 90 days off anyway thanks for watching as always until next time take care she want more anger rising can't keep score money off the spend can't ignore greed a joke until she can't adore belly full of greed heart full of spite food you can't see